Hello everyone, welcome to the Studio Bus TV. I'm glad to have you guys back here again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, um, in this video, I want us as Orlando Pirates fans and supporters to get to know our manager. Hopefully, you guys have watched the exclusive interview with Jose Luis Rivero. Apparently, they call him Reva. 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 They call him Reva in Finland. But yeah, I think we're gonna call him Jose. That is his name, Jose, because he's Spanish. Um, in 2021, 2021-2022 season, uh, we obviously had Nugazi and Fatlu David for the whole season because Jose Zimbao left after one game of the season, citing that he missed his family, which I don't believe, but yeah, I guess he had his reasons to want to leave the club. So he left and Nugazi and Fatlu kept going the whole season. We didn't have the best of seasons, but it wasn't the worst also. Um, this, obviously, Fatlu left. Nigazi stayed. Maybe he was guessing he'd be the manager, but yeah, he'd be the coach. We don't know. But he stayed and he is going to be working with Jose Luis Rivero. He's Nugas is gonna be the assistant coach and our coach is Jose and he came with his assistant also. I'm guessing there's gonna be we have a co assistant coaches, which is not a bad thing in football, it happens all the time. Um he came with Sejo Almara and he came with Miguel Steve, the fitness coach. And he also brought in, he brought in a goalkeeper coach from Bidfest, Tyrone Damons. He used to be the keeper for Cheaper United. He brought him in to be part of his technical team and his coaching staff. So yeah, man, in, in the interview, I watched the interview, I watched it once, a couple of days back, and he was speaking about his background how he grew up and yeah when he started how he started why he started i'll link the video to that interview down below in the description and yeah man uh we don't know how good it is because he started taste when he was 21 which is very young for a manager he started then because he says he knew what he wanted to do. He saw that it was not good enough, which I think is good. I think it's good. Self-awareness is good. Anyway in life, you need to be self-aware. He knew that he wasn't good enough to go on to be a professional player. So he found ways to be part of football, and which is being a manager. One of the greatest jobs, I think, in the world. So yeah, he started then and in the youth team, did his thing. I, I don't have the numbers, I couldn't get the numbers uh, for the wins, the losses and the draws he had while he was a youth coach. And then he went to being an assistant. He also spoke about this in the interview. Went to, being an, went to be an assistant at 20, where they won things. At which, I mean, you're the assistant, you're not the manager, you're not the coach. So whatever the club wins, it's because of the coach. We can't really attribute that to him. But he was there, he was part of it. It's a good thing. He knows what winning is, I guess. So he did that and then, fast forward, he went to FC Tuku, Tuku which is in Finland. Uh, Finland is rated, it has a UEFA coefficient of 36 meaning that out of all the countries in Europe the Finland the Finland league or the Finnish league it's Finland oh, the Finnish league 
the Finnish league is rated number 36. Number one would be your Premier Leagues, your, your English Premier Leagues, your Spanish Leagues, the Italian Leagues, all the way to the Paris, the, the France League. Um, yeah, so that's the UEFA coefficient. And the club, the club rankings of FC Tuco, it is rated 28. No, actually, it's rated 303 from 481, meaning that out of all the clubs in, in Europe, FC Tuku is, if there was ever a log, it would be number 303 out of 408. And this also brings me to the club ranking of Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates is rated number 28 out of 468. So you obviously see that comparing, if you're going to put apples with apples, comparing the two, Pirates is on a higher level to FC Tuku. So I'd say we hired someone who's, who if we're saying the, if we're saying Europe and Africa are standardized, we're hiring someone who's at a lower level than Pirates. But that doesn't mean he won't succeed because we've obviously seen other managers in other leagues come straight out of straight out of playing and go into management and start winning things. We've seen that. So it's possible for him to win. And he he took FC Tuku from seventh to second. It's not the best. He took them from seventh to second. He also spoke about this in the interview. And 7 to 2nd is not really the best result in a league with 12 teams. You know what I mean? There's literally like 12 teams in the league. We have 16. So 7 to 2nd. Why? My question is, what was failing him? What was stopping him from winning that league? It's not the best league in the world and it's probably not the toughest. I've never heard of a player being a star and playing in the Finnish league. So it's obviously not the best league in the world. What, what failed him? Why didn't he win the league? And I think these are questions that Thomas should have asked him, but he didn't. So yeah, um, he was asked how we will play with Pirates. And he said he wants to dominate, he wants to play in the opponent's half. He wants to keep the ball. And my favorite one out of those, he said he wants to be entertaining. And I think that's one of the reasons why we watch football. We want entertainment. We want the best for our teams. And obviously, we want to win cups and leagues and want to win trophies overall. Um, he had he had a camp with the players. He got to see which players he likes, and which players he, I guess, doesn't like. He got to see that, and he he said that's a team building exercise, which is a good thing. You you want your manager. You want your manager to to build some type of family in the team. To know that every player relies on another player to succeed. So he spoke about Paris player having a high technical ability. He said South Africa as a whole actually. Which... Mm, uh, to, I don't know. It's each to your own opinion. He said yeah, South Africans have a high technical ability. And he likes that about the team. And he was also asked about being a plumber. Well, he said he uh, doesn't know about being a plumber, but he's committed to football. He's committed to, to winning and he speaks football. And he's here to entertain and achieve things, which are good things for a manager. To, like all managers say that. No one is going to, no manager is going to go to a new team and say, I'm not here to win, I'm just here to get the paycheck. And go back to Spain and spend it watching the F1 or something. No one's going to say that. So, I don't know. I, I expect the best from him. 
I don't, every, uh, people have been talking about Tiki Taka. Uh, Tiki Taka football. Hey guys, we love Barcelona, ne? But anyway, we'll see if he's gonna give us Tiki Taka. And yeah, um, what are my other notes? And he was also asked about Pirates and what he seems to know about the club. He said uh, when he got to South Africa, they took him around so he got to see the, the tourist attractions and what the clubs mean. He, he, sees, he sees what the club means to a lot of South Africans. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna work He's gonna work, work his part off to win us something. Cause the last time he won, he won a cup was in 2020 with Zinbauer. So yeah, man, all the best to Jose Rivero Luis. Jose Luis Rivero, River, Revo. All the best to you, man. Hope you can win us something and be one of the best coaches we've ever had at Pirates. All the best. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Zero Bus TV. Tell your friends. Um, share the video.